Hi everyone, so I'm working on Solar V3 and um, the problem is here that I've made this little, um, it's kind of like a breakout board um, and I've pushed the ESP32 in and I can push in wires along the side here um, of this little header block thing but the wires can fall out and stuff like that so I've looked at the Arduino Nano and for the Nano I have this thing and you push the Nano in and somebody's made a uh, PCB and they've got traces or track that goes from the uh, from where the pin goes from the nano over to these little terminal blocks and it's really cool because you can pull them and they don't fall out and uh, it means that you have a good connection and really you need a good connection with these sorts of things because you need to be able to rely on it and anyway these things here they just fall out if, if I just give them a gentle tug or if you know something pulls here, it'll just pull straight out. So I need something better. So what I want to do is I want to make something like this. And uh, I thought I'd show you what I come up with. Okay so there's an ESP32, there's a Nano and there's this little breakout board thing. So as you can see, I'll just zoom in actually, as you can see the little breakout board goes like that and the nano um, let's just match these up here TX so it goes that way the nano just pushes into the little connectors like that you push it in and then you can see that it's oh, is it in? yeah it's in and now you can see that you can use these screw terminals they're actually labelled pretty well as well look D4, D4, D5, D5 um, so this is what I need for the ESP32 um, but of course, it's a different form factor completely. So, I'll just zoom out a minute. So there's, there's the ESP and there's the Nano. I, I need to try and make this uh, screw adapter thing. This is what I currently do. I've got one of these little boards here. And then I push one of these in here, double header thing. And I push one in there like that. And then if I just take this ESP out, I push the pins in there like that. Oops, it's not quite right. Hang on. I push them in kind of like that. Obviously push them in all the way. And then what I found is that you can utilize this section here. So I could push in some wires or whatever. And then, I, and then over here, I don't know if you can see, I'll solder those two together you know so solder together C, D, E and then down here as well so what it means is I've got um, the ability to push in a wire to connect to the pins on the ESP32 and if there's a problem I can just take that out and put the next one in the next ESP32 but anyway that's what I currently do but the problem is with it is that the wires um, are too flimsy and I need a bit more stability particularly with this unit here because it's a little bit fussy So, ideally I need something like this. So I've got that there, and then I'll push that in there. So the ESP would go in. It'd be better if this was single and had the right amount of pins, which I think is 15. So single and 15 down there. And then ideally it would be good if I could put lots of these in line down here. And then, um, you know, and that, that would work. That would be fine. The problem is, is that the sizes are different so if you see on here it would be good if it was one to one so one terminal block to one of these but it's actually not and the reason being is if you look on here it's actually a space in between the two terminal uh, screws so it can't be one to one so if I was to put them together like that look what would happen it just it wouldn't meet up so there's a problem there so there'd have to be some um, you know some different methodology used there to basically I'd have to wire that I'd have to wire it up properly which I don't really want to do um, I was hoping that I could use strip board or something uh, and do it that way but I actually can't and there's actually this as well a different size but this size is completely different it doesn't even fit in and um, yeah I'm not exactly sure why but it doesn't fit in it's a different size altogether so I can't do that. Anyway, to
to cut the story short, my idea is, I was thinking, well, I need one of these for the SP32. Now, I've actually got two of these, and um, I'm actually really impressed with them. Let me just get this Nano out. So what I was thinking is, I know the labels are set for the Nano, but why don't I cut straight through this, right down the middle, and then, you know, expand it out slightly, push these in, and then glue it together. And then I could therefore adapt this. I know the labels would be wrong, but I could adapt this and make it work for the SP32. And um, that's what I'm going to do. So, um, I've not actually caught a PCB before, so I've got no idea how this is going to work. But um, effectively, I know that I have two options. I can score down here and then snap, or attempt to. Or I could just cut straight down there with a a saw or a hacks or whatever and I'd like to try the score and snap method because it would be cleaner and faster so I'm going to try that first let's see if it works so I've got a metal ruler and I've got a very sharp knife and let's see if this works I don't know which way would be better it might be better to do it that way actually Hmm. Let's give it a go. Ah, uh, here we go. I have it. So, I'll just keep cutting. And there we go. Done. That's quite a nice job as well. And there it is. I'm actually very happy with that. It's a very nice clean cut. Right. So what it means is now, I have a, a screw adapter for any microcontroller I want really, up to 30 pins. So let's give it a go. Here's the ESP32. Push that in there. Oh, it's very solid as well. Push this in this side. And there we go. Wow, it's actually very solid as well. Look. I don't actually need to screw that to anything. Um, or glue it to anything either. What I was going to do originally is glue that to the back of that like this. But it's actually very solid anyway, so... Yeah, I don't need to. And there we go. So there's my own... Uh, can I say homemade? I don't really know. It's a uh, my, my yeah my homemade um, screw terminal um, adapter board really. So there we go. So the only thing that's wrong with it is the labels, which I don't really care about because the labels are on there anyway. So whatever. Put this back together. And there we have it. I'm very happy with that. Thanks for watching. Bye.